the Las Vegas real estate market do for the first quarter of the year and for April 2019? Well, that's what we're talking about today, and we're starting right now. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, a realtor here in Las Vegas, Nevada, with the O'Hare team at Urban S Realty. If this is your first time here, consider subscribing by clicking one of those buttons down below and even that bell for notifications. Welcome to the May issue of my monthly minute market update for Southern Nevada. Today, I will be going over first quarter numbers and numbers for April 2019. Following a stretch of year over year sales jumps, Southern Nevada's first quarter resales and new home builds both dropped from 2018 levels. Buyers picked up 8,073 previously owned homes condos, and townhomes in the three months that ended on March 31st, down 14% from the same period from last year, according to the newest report provided by the Greater Las Vegas Association of Realtors. Meanwhile, Home Builders Research reported that builders closed 2,293 new home sales for the first quarter, which was down 4.6% from a year earlier. This early slowdown does not necessarily mean that sales will fall all the way through 2019. If anything, some factors point to a possible boost in deals. Mortgage rates, which had climbed last year, have been sliding these last few months, reducing buyer's borrowing costs. As the tally of ignored listings in Southern Nevada has soared, giving house hunters more choices than ever before, and sellers are increasingly slashing their prices. The economy overall is also on a stronger footing, and Las Vegas' population is ever-expanding, and the jobless rate is shrinking. Amid a pricing surge, the once-depleted tally of available listings has shot right back up. Almost 7,100 single-family houses were on the market without offers at the end of March, up 85% from a year earlier. Despite the shifts, it's still not a buyer's market yet. Analysts say that house hunters are in a better position now than they were from a year ago. We'll see in a couple months if sales start picking up, or if buyers start backing away, or if the market goes in a different direction altogether. Last quarter sales drop is nothing compared to what happened when the market crashed. Last month, there were a total of 2,872 single family houses that sold up 9.6% from March but down 0.2% from April 2018. The medium sales price of previously owned single family homes, which compromises the bulk of the market, held steady at 300,000, which is up 3.8% from April 2018. Southern Nevada also had a total number of 4,309 new listings for the month of April, down 2.3% from March and up 14.8% from the prior year. However, there were a total number of 7,435 single-family houses listed without offers in April, up 4.9% from March, and up 94.8% from the prior year. There is still about a 2.6-month housing supply in Southern Nevada, down 4.3% in March, and up 95.2% from prior year. Months of supply is a good indicator of whether a particular real estate market is favoring buyers or sellers. Typically, a market that favors sellers has less than six months of supply, and a market that favors buyers obviously has more than six months of supply. 55.6% of the closings was on the market for 30 days or less. Bottom line is this, that the housing market is picking back up, and but the sales are nowhere near what they were last year. A lot of people are fretting that there's going to be a crash, um, but in my honest opinion, I don't think we're going to go through a crash like we did 10 years ago. I think we're finally actually stabilizing to where the market should be. Appreciation's not going to be like it was in years past, over 10% appreciation year over year. I think we're going to go to about 5% appreciation. With the Raiders Stadium completing next year, the hockey team doing well, um, the exodus of California, Seattle, Colorado, I don't see our market um, 
taking a huge dive. I think that we are just going to stabilize and sell the homes what they should be selling for and not what sellers think they should be selling for. Now there's a lot more inventory to choose from and buyers are being much more pickier. Last year, a home that was ugly and needed work was selling. But this year, since there's so many options, buyers are wanting to be ready to move in homes. They want something that's already been updated so they don't have to spend time or money on updating a house. As a seller, if your home's been sitting on the market, there's a couple factors that you really need to consider. One is, how is your home priced? Is it at or below market value? If it's overpriced, then it's gonna sit on the market a lot longer. And then you're gonna take a lot of price decreases where it should have been to begin with. And then when buyers see homes sitting on the market longer than three months, they may think something's wrong with your home. So the key is pricing your home accordingly in the beginning instead of uh, pricing it to where you want to sell it at. Another key factor is that, is your home updated? Is it clean, decluttered? Even if it's not updated, there's a few tips and tricks that you can do to um, update a few things, like updating your faucets or fixtures, updating your hardware, repainting the house and refreshing it. That will give it a nice new fresh look. I did a video on um, 10 tips to staging your home, so check that out and give you tips on what you need to do to help sell your home. If you'd like to download the full report provided by the Greater Las Vegas Association of Realtors, I posted a link down in the description below. If you're thinking about buying or selling in the Las Vegas Valley, I've created a link to Google Form to fill out so that I can reach you guys. Um, I posted that link down in the description as well. Well, I hope you have enjoyed my monthly minute market update for April 2019. I'm Angela O'Hare, a realtor here in Las Vegas, Nevada, with the O'Hare team at Urban Nest Realty. And if you like this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment down below, share with a friend, and consider subscribing to my channel if you're interested in learning everything and anything about the Las Vegas Valley. Thank you so much for watching today and I'll see you guys on the next one.